Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's take a look at a Mac OS X utility called Airport Location. So Airport Location is a utility that's particularly useful for people that have a MacBook or MacBook Pro and move from location to location. What it allows you to do is take a snapshot of settings on your Mac and then change it based on your location. So for instance, you could have a set of preferences for work and one for home and then have your Mac automatically switch between them as you move your MacBook. So after you install Airport Location, you get this icon up here in your menu bar. Click on it and you can access all the functions of Airport Location. So the way it works is there are snapshots and there are locations. Snapshots are sets of preferences. So for instance, my default snapshot here, you can see it's set to various different things. Airport's on, Bluetooth is on. Uh, you can see the preferences for the dock. You can see preferences for firewall and keychain, spaces, time machine, everything. It's all set up here and you can look at it very quickly and easily. So you can create as many snapshots that you want. So you can have one, say, for work or home or for different types of work that you do. For instance, I may have one for programming and a separate one for video editing. Snapshots can even open and close applications. So you can have a set of applications and set them as a snapshot, switch to a snapshot, which you can do manually. Just here, I can switch to this snapshot and it will change all of my settings to match the snapshot. So locations, as you can guess, are different places that your MacBook would be located. And it uses the MacBook's ability to guess the location. That's built into Snow Leopard. And it uses things like Wi-Fi networks around the MacBook to figure out where it is. And you can create different locations, say for home or work or a friend's house or school, library, etc., and set these locations and then determine what snapshot matches the location. Now, for locations, you can have your MacBook basically determine its location and then set the snapshot so all your preferences are set automatically. You can also have it do things like look at hardware sets. So in other words, if it's connected to certain devices, then go to a different snapshot. For instance, if you have an external drive connected, automatically go to a snapshot that will do a time machine backup immediately, as you can see right there. You can even have it detect your location based on what Ethernet connection you've got at the moment. Here's a complete list of all the different elements that a snapshot takes into account. So you can see there's a lot of different things here, things like screensavers, printers, desktop settings, dock settings, uh, even dashboard widgets, all sorts of things. The developer's taken a lot into account. So Airport Location is free to try out. The developer asks for donations if you like and use the product. I think it'd be most useful for people with MacBooks that are always bringing their MacBook with them into different working situations, but also might be good for people with desktop Macs that need to switch modes and open and close whole sets of applications and change lots of preferences all at once. Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.